Let's open that door. We get some friends. Uh, I'm going to have him silk step back. I know you're not supposed to, but like, I kind of want to try and do this one a little bit more flawlessly. The problem is, it's a lot of bad. There's a lot of enemies. And I kind of knew I shouldn't have done this. But still. Okay, let's have her move there. We'll still have the Bogmore, but I should be able to hit the row. Okay, so we got tongues, but we didn't take damage there. So we're too close to hit the row. Move here. And move here. Okay. Hit the row. Low chance to hit, but she does more damage. And can hit there. We still have to worry about the Bogmore's damage, but... This isn't as bad as it was. Locked. That's bad. Okay. So far, so good. But yeah, the problem is we've got a freaking bear and some other things to have to contend with. Uh, let's see. I don't think the bear's found us yet. Oh, no, there's the bear. Okay. So we found the bear, we found the rager. Bear is a problem. Bear is very big. That was a good shot. Okay. No! God dang it. Switching characters is a bit of an issue for me, I've noticed. Okay, let's silk step in. I don't think he knows where we are. Yep, okay, cool. Gonna go here. I don't see the... I don't see the Earth Spirit anywhere. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume... Yep, there we go. Yeah, my problem is I just shouldn't have rushed the door. Uh, let's see, so we get another Ember Gown, which we don't need. That post-battle hair is a good look, I must say. And Rose have extra health now. Eee. All right. Secure Lentil Hold, find an item. Good luck to two of you. Uh, yeah, how are you supposed to catch that spirit? Normally I have a lot more people, but I don't know. Okay, some more cards. Old card is replaced with new, stronger card of the same type. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to cancel Rose doing extra damage. The rest I, I'm just going to have to deal with. Oh, wait. Hold up. What am I doing? Oh, the... Uh... Hmm. This is a little concerning. I'm going to save. I'm going to wait. Okay. Without meaning to, Jaina had wandered ahead of her compatriots and found herself at Ashen Goat Field. Pardon the intrusion. From your hairstyle and the way you hold your weapon, you seem like someone who likes to take chances. Uh, who are you supposed to be? I was going to ask you the same question. But, my name's Kayagan. Kayagan? 
Most places, I'm simply known as the gambler. What are you doing here? Offering you a chance. Okay. Kaigan? Kaigan? Probably Kaigan. Produces a small box of polished mahogany. Figure of a winged fox carved on its lid. Absent hearted Jane Love. Wilt thou dare the gambler's game? Can't resist. Jane uh, flexes her fingers over the box. Kaigan proffers. Just open it? That would be rude, wouldn't it? Do you just barge into people's homes without knocking? So I'm supposed to knock first. How many times do I knock? That's why it's a game! Jane Love shrugs and raps upon the mahogany box exactly once. Might as well save my energy, right? He opens the lid. Fortune's on your side! Just then, Jane Lee hears her companions approaching, and she looks again for the gambler. Kagan is gone. Her prize, however, is hung in the hung on a near tree trunk. With a note, until chance may join us again. You found Cloak of Elimination. What is stunt? So it's sort of crit. Uh, let's give that to Tomith, I think. Or Mudrick. Hide and fabric, hide and fabric. Okay. Armies is on the march. Grab her. Hers is... Been discovered. Okay, army's there. We have an opportunity. I haven't seen one of these since over Timia Fields. Over in Timia Fields. Rabbits have been busy. Good for you guys. It's the fourth quail I've seen this week. Sounds like an omen to me. But he's not from around here. Could mean you need to take explosive action. Wait, not from here. You keep a quail journal? I've never told anyone before. But I keep a fox jer- What? No, because he has the wrong color of tail feathers. He's probably from Timia Fields. Don't tell Jaina about my- Jaina about my fox journal. Flowers, rabbits, and quails. Something must be stirring them up. Uh, you don't even pay attention. But I do! I pay lots of attention. I pay attention to the way the baker's daughter looks at me when I stop in. I pay attention to the flight of my arrows. You- you haven't even noticed the way Denkerton feels about you. What? I, but, look, I mean, something clearly is wrong in Timia Fields. Plants, animals, something. I need to check it out. All right, I'll get my things. Think we should bring Denkerton, too? Sure. We'll just do that. Okay, we have the army going. Uh, let's see. Outfitter established. Do I try and have Lorlia and Jainla defend Donnie Forge Dam? Good luck! Them versus an army. This can never end well. Okay, so after all that, my hounds finally treed the coons, but I couldn't believe it. It was the sovereignty tree, biggest oak for a hundred miles. All four coons were up there. So that was it? No, it was ma I was mad as hell. So I cut it down. It took three days, but I did it. it must have been 13. My hands were raw for weeks. Farm up ahead. Oh, it's home guard. I was going to send for you, but the postman hasn't been by for a while. What's going on here? Well, listen, come in. Put your packs down. Listen, my family's been here a long time. We tamed this land, you understand? Got some cornbread here. It's not fancy. I know those Deathless have moved in. What's it? Mortimer's? The Skull Guys, crawling all over the place. I was hoping you could help? We'll take a look. Hey, this cornbread's amazing! <laughs> Looks like they're planting trees? A great forest will grow here. What? Nothing. All right. But we'll need to break it to Mulwain. They're not aggressive. We're giving them the chance to live in peace. I thought that's what you were all about. Making my la making the land safe. What about my land? They'll get by. They don't seem interested. You're scared. I'm sorry we couldn't help you. Good luck. Next day. Thanks. Hmm? Nothing. Minus one legacy point three heartwoods. Eh, it's worth it. 
So, Bard. Tomith reduces the cost of recruit jobs by one. Plus five stunt all heroes in party. That's really good. Yeah, we're going to do that. And gather... No. Uh, let's see. I'm going to send... Who is the fastest? We're just going to send Mudrick. We need a sixth person. Just to do building. Okay, incursion. The Gorkin army will be here soon. What's our plan? I just want one this time. Uh, let's see. Stand, stand tall. Sound the horns. Put fear into their hearts. Behold, home guard. Incoming. Damn, Gorgons. I can still fight. Janeless starts at half health. So we got a true Gorgon and a Ranger Stampede. Survive for nine turns. Good boy. All right. Uh, let's see. Chances are they're not coming this way, so we're gonna we're gonna hide in here. I don't think I can close that door, but I can certainly fight them in a small enclosed area. Really wish I could close this door, but it is what it is. Okay, it's going to take them a while to get to me. Oh boy, it's going to take them a while. But luckily, we've got team door stabbings. Uh, let's see, so move her back, move her back. Sentinel up. I don't have any range support, and I've got a very, very small team. So, best I can do is counterattack door stabbings. Move her back. Alright, there we go. And victory! Aha! <laughs> Link mail! Uh, warrior armor, tier 2. Extra armor, minus dodge. Uh, let's see, so it'll give us more armor. Reduce our speed, reduce our stunt chance, reduce our dodge. I like Brawl Guard a lot. So let's just salvage it for some ingot. Uh, let's see, melee accuracy and ranged accuracy. Let's see, ranged accuracy is 112, ranged accuracy... Okay, so let's give it to her. Okay, that should be good. So this will give us a decent amount of people. So I guess in this case, let's take... Everyone that isn't Mudrick. And go after Javanda Klangery. That should be a good team, and hopefully we'll get a fifth person at some point that can do busy work. Anybody else hear that weird chewing noise? Dengren, if you're sneaking my elk jerky again, I swear, that stuff's not easy to... Shh, it's something else. Come here, look. What is that? Wait, it's chowing down on a... Organoid carcass? I mean, I can't judge. I made some regrettable me meal decisions, too. <laughs> Shwoop! Hasn't seen us yet. Did he even have eyes? But which, I mean, what's the plan? See, eating organs, I'm not gonna stop it. The enemy, the enemy of my enemy, and all that, right? You stay here if you want. I'm gonna go disassemble its face. It's gone. Oh, darn. What a shame. Oh, well. I love these cutscenes. They're great. Breakfast of Champions. Like, this is written really well. Okay. So, we've got the usual tower set up. The only thing is... Boy, that is not much to work off of. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna have her bop that open. Maybe? Let's save before we go. Open door. So what do we got? A couple of basic rows. Nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna... Well, that sucked. Interfuse it. Interfuse that. And we're gonna do flare. Blind them. Okay, didn't get that one.
Okay. And then I'm going to move my Sentinels to front. That should be good. Okay, so that's pins and dead. The only problem is the other row has a fair shot at Tomith. But maybe we'll be okay. Nope. It hits Tomith, but only for two. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. There we go. That's good stuff. Okay, let's start moving closer. I don't necessarily know what we're dealing with, but that's kind of okay. Whoops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's see. I meant to have her move closer. Luckily, there doesn't seem to be any bonus or minus for taking a long time on these missions. Looks like they're hitting the doors. Okay, so there is a bit of an issue. Uh, we're going to interfuse with that. We're going to open door. Boy, that's some friends. Discus. Okay, can you hit the bear? No. We move there, we can hit the bear. And while it is poisoned, I don't trust it. I'm going to move her over here. And she's going to move up and kill the bear. Oh, we found the other friend. Uh, let's see. Open door. Oh, boy. There's a Bogmore, too. I didn't even realize. Okay. Okay, she got pinned, but not the end of the world. Alright, so she's got a Sentinel. We've got a Bogmore to deal with. Not my favorite. Move there. Hit the Bogmore. Let's see, what do I have that could interfuse? Not much, unfortunately. Well, do we just raid the Bogmore? Everything went poorly. I didn't realize these these two were just set up this way. Uh, it's interfuse with chair. Because we, we can Splinter Blast both of these, I believe. No, we can Splinter Blast the Gorgon. I'll take what I I'll take what I can get. Should have started with the Splinter Blast, in fact, but that's okay. Holy crap! Jinla bellows in agony, and a strange, unfamiliar pain creeps through her body. Fall back, fight another day. No good to anyone. Win this one for me. Okay, we got the Bogmore. She got one shot. And again, we don't have very good equipment here. Oh, boy. All right. Interfuse with tentacles? Tentacles. Discus the Gorgon. And yeah, the Gorgon, like, straight up wrecked her. Oh! You slash seven damage, and she gained petrified. So we'll have to see how that works. One way or another, we found Brawl Guard, guard Armor, which is the same. Okay, we have Strong Deer. So what's up with you? What is Petrified? Left leg has been turned to stone. Extra speed. Extra armor. You know, that almost seems like a benefit. If anything. It's very strange. Oh, she's going back to the nearest safe town. Alright, well, everybody else, I guess. Find an item. Yeah, so she's out for a while. Wood of Warlord. I wish I kind of understood some of those things. Oh, that's okay. Oh, let's see, so we get some ingots. And travel tough. Well, it's better than what we got. Armor is point six. So, he needs it. And Fox Quartz Scarf. So, Dengren could probably use the armor more than anyone else. Maybe. Okay, so he's done. I wish I understood what the Wood of Warlord is.
Okay, one way or another, work on this with Mudrick, who is a very long way away, but at least there's no threats on this side. So now that we've got that together, we don't have to worry about it. Not exactly the most gripping part of the story, though. Okay, we found a Hurlax. Two throwing axes that shred armor and deal damage. Action throw axe. Individual throws a light axe at a nearby foe. Shredding armor and dealing damage if it hits can be used twice per mission as a free action. Her hands are foe. Full. I'm gonna give it to Dengarin. And Feather Steel Pauldron. Uh, let's see. Give it to Tomith. Okay, so let's scout with everyone. Uh, let's see. Extra armor and warding? Nah. Most of these I can kind of work with. We don't have a whole lot of points, but let's let's make it so they don't do more damage at the very least. God, those get, those get pricey. I'd like to save my home guard or my legacy points, but it doesn't seem like it's wise. And the forest has been revealed. Awesome. She returns to action. Cool. Let's grab everybody. I guess honestly, let's let's do the assault with everybody but her. Cause it's gonna take her too long to get there. Our stars climb high tonight. Oh, are those one ones ours? Always climbing around, our little stars. It's a good omen. You believe in omens, Tomith. You start to. Spend enough time alone, and you start having conversations with existence. Omens. Signs. Fortune. Why can't they just be stars? Why do they have to mean anything? Interesting. So, I think I hear the stars telling us something. Can I save? No, I can't save. The old song wants to rise out of me. Stars have always told their own stories. Thomas sees something I don't. Or, hear the stars telling us something. Go to sleep. I'm not sure how I want to work with this, because this feels like it's the non-answer. And yeah, there is a wiki button uh, put in. Unfortunately, it's one of those where... Uh, the wiki itself here, I'll just put on display capture, is totally empty. People can fill it in if they want to, but uh, no one is, has started putting in the effort yet. I hope someone does, because that's really good. Well, like, that's a really cool feature. <sighs> yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is an early access indie game made by a small team, so I don't know. Let's go with the old song wants to rise out of me. Thomas' voice lifts first, and immediately a harmony seems to glow forth so that all present are j called to join the song. You know that one? Sure, it's fairly well known. My parents would sing it to me when I was scared at night, or just or just to put me to sleep. My eyes would drift out the window towards the stars. Temporary health. Horn children. Woken slingers, woken slingers, woken fighters, and woken fighters. Horn children. Talking in cracks and crumbles, viciously throwing itself at whatever it sees. Okay. Ooh, and we have a fire spirit, if I can get to it. Problem is, those suckers tend to just bail. And good luck getting to them. So let's have Dengarin go first. We got a couple. So, grains. Greater Constrict. Or candles. Steel fire or bucket. Shackle. Do that. Greater Constrict. The, the Woken. Wow! I'm just gonna have her run up. I've read of Fire Spirits, of course, but nothing beats seeing in one in person. Get a legacy point, or keep enchanting Grave Winter's Thirst. Stone of Fire. Oh, 
Okay, so that's less cool. Uh, let's just salvage it for an ingot, which is bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load back and I'm gonna have somebody else. Uh, I I'm gonna have somebody else interact with it. Okay. Open door. The only problem is we do lose that sweet kill. Should have saved before I moved forward, but whatever. Greater constricts. Nope. RNG worked in my favor again. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could keep enchanting the same sword, but oh well. Oh, hey. You can just move up, get the enchantment. Our little one. But what a story you'll make. Enchant Rowan Pride or the Skinning Knife? Rowan Pride! I probably should go for the legacy points. But the stun effects seem just so much fun. Don't forget the axes are free actions. I wasn't sure on that. It looked like it wasn't a free action, but I could be very wrong. Okay. Let's move him forward. We don't have much to work with, but that's okay. So what do we have? Awoken, Awoken Singer, or Singer, Slinger? Hmm. Okay, let's just have her move forward. Kill this guy. Okay, let's have her move forward. He can move forward, but he can't do anything. Hit the wall. Wow, we're just stunting people left and right. This is working great. Okay, and hit the horn child. Took cover. Yeah. Kind of figured as much. Well, at least fair is fair. He did the same thing to me. And that was it. Perfect. Okay, Broach of Courage. Extra block. Yeah, let's give it to Lorlaya. There's a lot of equipment spots. I'm fine with that, though. Okay. So... Let's see. So I'm gonna find an item. Cancel these. Let's just have Jaina handle it. These guys are all feeling pretty hale and hearty, so I'm going to keep them moving forward. This also looks to be the last thing in the chapter. So the prairie has been revealed. So I guess in that case, everyone work on the fort. And yeah, we might want to make a pass next season so that we can get through this faster. I don't want to put a pass on any of these, probably, but next time, for sure. Okay, thorough delving. Okay, so we get some fabrics and spell thread. And some things. Melee and ranged accuracy. I'm going to give it to my ranged units, first and foremost, because accuracy seems to matter the most. Let's see, try the orange banner before the fight. As far as I can tell, the orange banner is... I can't tell what that is, actually. Because uh, I can only gather my party there, which means I'm not sure if I can interact with it. I think that's just a location. Or it was an event that I missed out on and it's still there. I don't know, one way or another. I've tried to interact with stuff like that before and it didn't work. Eh. I wasn't imagining it would be quite so picturesque. Beautiful, huh, Tomith? The Cavern of the Sea Spirit lies at the heart of a magnificent canyon. The sides of the canyon are smooth and sheer, marbled blue and pink, molded and mushed by hands of titans when the world was clay. Now the stone is hard and sharp and glows. But the canyon's deep places are strung with fragrant, clear waterfalls and ruffled greenery. The mouth of the cave is hidden in, a, in damp shadow and fern-feathered shade. But Thomas spots it and leads the way in. Smell that. You probably don't know what that is. It smells like the ocean. 
Watch your feet, there's a few holes. Emmeth follows her echoes into the dripping depths. No eye has scraped these walls in centuries. The air is pickled and stiff. Or still. Smoother down here, but look at the ceiling. It seems to go up and up. Something's glinting too. Slime or something. Hopefully not alive. It's cold. Sinking into your bones kind of cold. Can't wait to get out of here. Jump in a hot bath. Hey. Hmm? Looks like this is the end of the tunnel. Carved and firm and ancient. Okay, so this looks like just pure boss chamber, nothing more. Which is good and bad. Calibine. Towering and reeking of algae and old water. It stalks sedately on its stony limbs while the world quakes. Okay, so I'm going to put arches down. I'm gonna just shoot the thing. Okay, that gets it. It's a big sucker. I'm gonna let it come towards me. Interesting. It didn't want to. Can I throw axes at it? I can. But it's not particularly a good angle. I'm gonna move him over here. I don't think we can infuse we can infuse on one of these. Wild grasp or disc it. Discus. Or this. Oh. Yeah, we can splinter blast. Throw axe, free action. Yeah, we gotta shred that action. Or shred that armor. Eh, blocked it. De decent chance to shoot. I'm not entirely sure... ...what this guy's got that I have to worry about. I was wondering if that tree was blocking him, so he was going, taking a long way around. One way or another, we're just going to charge charge his face, and he's down. That would have been easy. Alright, let's get what we came for. Don't you wonder how that thing lived down here, or where it came from? The air in the chamber is clear and almost sweet. The corpse of the Great Guardian shrivels inside its carapace. Tormuth gar approaches the edifice. The spear is glass-like, glass -like, grand. It radiates legacy and power. This is strange. What can this thing really mean to them? The poem is an oral heirloom. My guess is the hero queen who wielded this lance in antiquity was actually a gorgon. Of course, you got a theory, but... Well, so it's some kind of emblem to them, maybe. Of a past hero. As Tomith grips the spear, a noise begins to grow in the outer tunnels. It's the noise of feet and hooves, of tortured lungs shoveling, shoveling air, and this slick slickering squelch of creeping things. By the sound of it, a horde of Gorgon beasts is pouring towards the chamber. We need to hope they don't cut off our escape. Even I don't believe we'll survive if we stay here. Okay, so we got a Petroglass Sea Spear. Tier 3 Water. Water! Stunt effect refunds an action point. Okay, so we're, give we're replacing the Moon Spear. It also looks freaking rad. Yeah, can I give it to the Spear Girl with a lineage of absurd heroes? Absolutely! Okay, so we've got some new enemies. Uh, what are we doing? Oh. So there's more to this mission. I was wondering about that. 